I come as the mother of all who will receive me. I am Mary. And so my daughter has spoken to you through another of my daughters. And so, beloved, I come especially this evening to take from my arms the Christmas rose, the babe, the Christ child and I give this Christ child to each one of you to have now and to hold as your very own soul and as the celebration this day of your soul's rebirth in the divine man child so your inner child and your inner soul is one now see the great birth of that child Christ in you and cradle that one and love that one and rock that one and use my songs 
Santissima, to heal the soul, to heal the child, to bring the inner child to the place where the child can enter in and be that man-child. Sing for the transmutation of the anger, the hurt, the pain, the separation, the loss, the abandonment, and all things that have been done to the child or that you have done to your own self. Blessed ones, let us begin the Christ Mass early, that we might hold the vigil through the Christ Child, through the coming events of this nation, the elections, and other activities that shall come to pass that you will see unfolding as events. Let us keep the vigil then, for I desire with the great desiring of my heart to see you attain resolution and the joy of freedom of your inner child to know that the night of sorrow is long spent and the day is at hand for the day star to rise in you even as the day star is on high marking the place of the birth of Christ the true you. Oh yes, beloved, you do not need to labor long in this sense of pain. You have come to this altar erected in this city, and so you may leave your pains upon the altar. It is what you can see that will make the difference. Can you not see now as angels surround you and the blessedness of your heart? that there is transformation, there is transmutation. Oh, it is necessary to let go, and how hard it is to let go. There seems to be a need for justification or some sense that justice has been done. Oh, indeed, justice is done. Justice is present in the earth in every angel, in the heart of every saint and ascended master. The archangels are living emissaries of the divine justice of God. Fear not, for the greatest justice of all to you, which is surely mercy as well, is that you have come to the place where you know that justice has been fulfilled, has performed her work as the handmaid of the great lawgiver, the almighty God, that the law is, shall be, and has been satisfied concerning all wrongs that you perceive have ever been committed against you. Put this into the hands of angels. I am an angel called the Queen of Angels, and I have many hands like the Divine Mother. I can take all these things. Can you not release them to me, beloved ones? It is so important that while I am so physically present through our messenger, so tangibly present in your midst, that you make that contact and put into my hands now all that you desire to be done with. Oh, let the shadows fade in the light of my healing aura. My immaculate heart holds the flame for you. My immaculate eye, that is the eye of God, sees that perfection, sees the healing, sees the wholeness. Oh, receive me, beloved ones. You are precious to my hearts for I can speak to you outside of the terminology of doctrine of the Catholic Church. I can speak to you in a universality of the Divine Mother that fills all of the matter cosmos. And you who know yourself as mothers of children and fathers and nurturers of life everywhere, Come enter into the mighty vibration, the wavelength of the mother permeating 
all cosmos. Oh yes, beloved, my angels are singing with you the Sanctissima songs. They are singing and their vibration is a part of what you receive when you play that tape. Not necessarily are their voices recorded on tape, but they are recorded through the singers. But then you see they come and sing when you sing with this recording. And so let the deepest places of the depths of the astral plane know the entering there of all servants of the Divine Mother who sing the praises of Mare, the Divine Mother. And let the singing of these praises drown out all darkness and negation of man, of woman, of child. Look at the babe in your arms. Look at the joy in the face of this babe, of your inner true self. Your very soul is being liberated, for you dare to receive this child, to know this child, to rock this child, to become this child, to become child man, to wax strong in wisdom and in the spirit of the Lord, and to come to the fullness of the stature of Christ after so many years or cycles of going through the records that are simply dissolved by the violet flame and by your loving all children, by your praying for all children and all souls in need. Oh, give that love that you might be receptive to and be able to receive the love of the man-child in you. This soul that you are must rise. Take courage, dear heart. Take courage, for the night will pass, as I have said. But it will not pass until you yourself light a mighty flame in that night and dispel it and have the courage to banish fear and doubt and all compromises of love. Yes, be gone, forces of anti-love. Be gone in the name of Chamuel. Be gone, forces of anti-love, for you have not the power of God to sustain that which is not real. I then come to you with a promise to your heart. I have said before, that my likeness in the statue of the Lady of Fatima at the Royal Teton Ranch does not weep, does not shed tears or tears of blood, for this is the place of my heart's rejoicing in you who keep my flame. Therefore, beloved, I need not deliver the physical appearance to you, and yet some of you with your inner sight may see me, now superimposed over the messenger, as I am comfortably seated to have this conversation with you. But I shall come to your heart if you call me. I shall also enter your heart to assist you in making the transition from the outer hardened, pained and hurt and bruised self to the inner glorious self that is the radiant Christ child. I will come to you, beloved, and I will come to you in a very special way that is suited to each one of you. When you recite the rosary and do so early in the day, before the cares of the day and the karmas of the day overtake you, I can enter so easily, for you have placed around yourself my presence by the recitation of the Hail Mary. Shall we not all give that rosary together at some point before this retreat is concluded, that you might test the waters and see how much you feel me around you because you use my mantra and the mantra of Jesus. 
of the Lord's Prayer and the I Am Affirmations. Yes, beloved, let us do this and so know that in the moments that you recite the rosary undisturbed, unmoved, and in attunement, I may enter and become one with you and perform for you necessities of the hour, healings, direction and guidance and comfort. Know me, beloved, know my footsteps, soft, softly coming to the place of your devotions. Know me, beloved, for many know me in this earth in a different way. And when those of the East call to the representations, the personifications of the Divine Mother, I am there also, for everyone who is a mother is the mother of all and is one with that mother. And so I answer the calls of all Earth's evolutions who can find it in their heart to direct a prayer to the Divine Mother. So I seal you then, my children, my sons and daughters, my angels who have come from the bands of the seven archangels, I seal you in the matrix of your victory. This means that I seal you in the womb of the Cosmic Virgin. I seal you in that place prepared for the fullest development of your soul. And I seal you, beloved, in the place for your healing. The matrix is the pattern of all that you are and shall be. I hold that pattern. I see it now. Oh, come, see it with me. See it through the eye of God. See it through the Bethlehem star and the Bethlehem babe. See it now. See yourself in wholeness. For many, many souls have need of you, urgent need of you, that they might enter the portals of birth unharmed and take their stand and have their say and day. Yes, beloved, be swift now to receive the offering of healing and the heart of the Christ child. May this Christmas Eve and Christmas Day, and as you enter the new year before you, an experience unparalleled in a renewed wholeness that you have not known for many thousands of years. I am with you unto your wholeness, some of you are almost there and can be there in cycles not too long. Be swift, be swift, my sons and daughters. Your bridegroom awaits and the Lord has need of you. As it is written, the king desires his bride. Let the geometry of God now hold you out of harm's way, now hold you in the strength you need to fulfill your mission. I will never leave you who give that rosary each day. I cannot leave for you by your devotion, have established my presence around you. Blessed are ye who know me truly and desire to be myself in form. I am Mary, mothering the flame of God within you, mothering the God manifestations.